Hello Sandeepan, uh, congratulations on a solid start at the 29th Abu Dhabi Masters. So if you can break down today's game for us, it was a draw game against the Olympia team gold medalist Sindarov. Yeah, so I was uh, black, it was uh, anti-Sicilian uh, with the second move knight c3 followed by d4. And the c6, d5, this is a known uh, line but uh, known in the sense uh, this has been played already but uh, my opponent started to think, so I guess he was uh, not really expecting it. On the other hand, I was also struggling to remember how uh, the line follows. As it is, he uh, gave back the pawn soon and uh, hoped for some initiative because he had the uh, he had slight development advantage. And then uh, there was this interesting transition when I took bishop into c3 and. Uh, I believe, at least from a practical point of view, that is uh, the right decision. And I was hoping that uh, I get this knight on d5, and uh, that's uh, very solid. But it turn, turned out that uh, White nevertheless managed to uh, keep uh, some pressure. And uh, I guess objectively I should be able to hold, but practically there was some pressure. And one interesting point was when he decided to play rook hd1 and exchange the rooks and after the game he was suggesting uh, maybe he should have played rook h e1 and which I uh, had to see because uh, probably the only move is rook g6 here. So basically the question is whether uh, by keeping one extra rook on the board if uh, white has more chances. And uh, during the game I was hoping I'm fine but uh, if there was some pressure even with one rook now I'm not I'm less uh, less uh, sure so yeah at the end uh, we reached and rook, uh, a rook end game and which was uh, there were a few tricks I think but uh, objectively drawn I was watching the live uh, game and I saw that you had a better time control uh, you had over 10 minutes while he was struggling he was uh, like working on increment do you think that there were practical chances on the board for him to work on yeah, if you observed, you might also have seen that even with less time, he was getting up from the board and relaxed. Right? So, you know, these uh, young players who can't really hope to, you know, play on their time. They, they are just too experienced in <laughs> playing fast. So, and I'm sure he did not feel any pressure at all that he had, he had less time. The only thing was, uh, if uh, I'm able to hold and if I'm able to hold without a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. And it's true, like uh, uh, I had the knight, sometimes the knight starts jumping and in fact a couple of times it seemed that he wanted to play some move and then he suddenly saw some knight jumps and then he uh, hesitated and uh, went for some other move. So you were right uh, in the sense that there can be some tricks but it is still, I really could not hope for, uh, for a win in this game. Uh, thank you so much for that uh, and uh, I wanted to ask that you are one of the players who is a full-time active coach plus also you come to the to such major tournaments and you play such wonderful games. So if you can tell us how do you find the balance? Well, I'm not sure I'm the best example of balance here. Uh, so uh, what happened for me is that I started uh, coaching uh, during the COVID lockdown, uh, lockdown times in uh, 2021 and uh, that time it was just uh, not known yet uh, when uh, things are going to be normal again and uh, if you see immediately when I started uh, playing after the lockdown and with all the training activities going on I had complete disaster in fact I do not even know any other example who <laughs> lost so much rating so fast from 2500 let's say I, I really do not know any any example that I, I, I uh, so it was a it was very difficult period for me to adjust but uh, then um, training has its interesting moments and uh, it is also very enjoyable to see if the players they are enjoying the sessions and uh, if I see them smiling I feel that okay this is uh, something worth doing on the other hand uh, playing is the most challenging part so to sit at the board is the most uh, challenging part. So I can say that uh, just after lockdown, I did not manage it too well. In last couple of tournaments, I uh, did it. Uh, I've done it much better. And uh, let's see, because uh, after all, um, I think uh, one uh, should try to play as much as possible. And then, uh, yeah, let's see how the training work develops. 
as you mentioned about your training making your students smile i mean two of you the students that have been working with you for a brief time pragnananda and gukesh are like glowing in the world stage so what are your thoughts on that because you have worked with them for a, a bit of times so if you can tell us about those training sessions and how do you feel about their performance so as i am one of the trainers at uh, westbridge ananchas academy so that uh, uh, gave me the opportunity to work with uh, both of them and in fact i would say that uh, best work we did probably was during the first 6 months because for 6 months they were all at home and uh, they uh, just could not travel either and uh, uh, we had regular sessions and that was very interesting and uh, i think it was important also in the sense that so when uh, the um, when the um, lockdown uh, kind of uh, opened up when the things uh, started uh, the tournament started happening and they started to travel they immediately started playing well and i think uh, for that because uh, otherwise they were just at home and playing of course online events but uh, those sessions i hope that it uh, helped them to stay in shape at least i believe that it did not do too much damage because they <laughs> started playing well immediately after all of them uh, basically only leon was already out in hungary but others all were uh, in india and they were uh, like just at home and so i'm very happy with uh, how the boys are playing and in fact uh, i think it is not incorrect to say that uh, back in 2021 if uh, we were told that okay gukesh will be in this much rating after two and a half years or pral will be a candidate uh, qual- will be qualifying for, for the candidates we would say that okay we are dreaming so and uh, of course i mean it is not uh, just uh, the westbury challenges academy but uh, all of them have got their individual trainers and uh, they have uh, played a great role and in fact they are the people the individual trainers are the people who spend the maximum time with them and saying that in recent times some of the uh, individual trainers were also supported by uh, waka west bridge and chess academy so so it's it complements uh, each other so uh, together as a team and i'm very happy with all the boys and also the other boys and girls i they have been doing well and i uh, really hope that uh, they get uh, much stronger you have worked with vishy anand for a long time and you have seen him be in india number 1 for the longest time as we rem- all remember did you ever think that a young boy will one day become uh, become india number 1 at uh, at like in such a short time okay anand is uh, first of all uh, when we say we talk about anand is of course not just about being india number 1 for so many years i mean he is one of the greatest achievers of all time of and in fact like uh, to my mind it, it is like uh, there are greats of uh, chess and uh, so for example for some people it is kasparov is the very best for some fisher for some kalsen and all for very good reasons and to me why anand is uh, amongst the greatest of all times is because he won the world championship in all possible formats so you see first uh, knockout formats then uh, in uh, in mexico it was like a tournament then of course matches he kept winning matches so basically he won all the formats and uh, also knockouts he has been playing like uh, not only the year he won but also in other some of the other world cups he did amazingly well actually so anand is anand of course and coming to the young boys who are uh, really doing well in particular uh, gukesh of course i am very very happy did you ask me whether i expected it i would say yes i expected it not only from gukesh but also from other boys but i am still very pleasantly surprised by the speed with which he yes, achieved yes yes and of course i mean the uh, way to go there's uh, there's a lot all these boys have to achieve including gukesh and i'm looking forward to uh, even better days as prague is playing fabi in the tie breaks tomorrow he has a great chance to face magnus in the finals so not only he will be a candidate but also a world cup uh, like finalist so you have worked with pragnananda if there is something about pragnananda that you want to talk about yeah okay i did not know actually the second game yes, yes, has been drawn i ended in a draw i was uh, playing okay <coughs> so uh yeah this is like um, one has to see step by step and enjoy the process and uh, he is definitely enjoying the process and prag like 
I believe recently in one of the interviews with uh, uh, when Prague uh, reached 2700, when Sagar asked me some questions, and I said that of course, I mean, uh, one of the things that strikes out to me is that uh, his love for the game. Like he mm, really enjoys. I feel he sees a beautiful idea. He just loves it. Of course, I mean, such strong players. There are really a lot of qualities that um, uh, that combine together. But um, I still feel uh, good when I see the young boys and girls. They are not only just thinking about rating and uh, achieving this and that, but just the pure from the pure ch point of uh, chess point of view. Uh, it is, uh, you see a beautiful move, it should bring a smile. Because this is why you play chess. This is why we all started playing chess. When we start, all started playing chess, we had no idea about rating, title, and uh, this and that. It is just that some ideas attracted us, and we got caught. Everyone, it, is, it doesn't matter whether you were a world champion or just uh, an amateur. So I think if that still stays with you, then you are doing good. Thank you, so, uh, thank you so much, Sandeepan. It's always a pleasure uh, hearing you talk and uh, sharing all those wisdom. And uh, there are still four more rounds to go. All the very best for the rest of the rounds. Thank you so much.